This is Twit. So we knew this day was coming, but we weren't sure when or what form it would take. But Microsoft announced yesterday <laughs> they're like updating. Death. We know this day. <laughs> there oh, is. there they are. Sorry. <laughs> That was perfect. They're updating <laughs> Notepad for Windows 11, everyone. Okay. So, what? What? What does it need? What more okay. could it need? Nothing. It needs it's nothing. It's perfection itself. It well, nothing. it does need one thing, by the way. All right. It got dark and, mode. Oh, dark mode. God. Dark mode support is huge. Oh, my God. All right. Goodness. For all you who love dark mode, I am, a, I am not a dark mode person, but for all you who care... It now is going to have dark mode. I agree. Well, I mean, that's a that's a it's good. It's like an eye care option. issue more than a like. No, thing. I, mean, I think I it is. Yeah, yeah. especially for it those is. of us. No, people I, I like it. night owls. I mean, it's yeah. one of the reasons I use Word now. Jeff Jarvis yeah. hates it. I hate dark it. mode. I can't. Yeah. It hurts my eyes. I, it really, really is bad for my dark eyes. Mode hurts <laughs> your eyes. Oh. Yeah, it really hurts my eyes. I don't hmm. know why. Maybe maybe because I'm so used to white. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Agree. Mm -hmm. I know. Most people want dark mode. You're going to get dark mode. Um, well, what else? They, they didn't change. They didn't change a lot, which is what I love. They said we wanted it to be yeah. more modern, but still familiar. Thank goodness, right? Um, they're changing um, search and replace in it, right? So right. that um, how does it work now with the new thing? So uh, uh, actually, I, I never use exactly search and replace. But so uh, I, this yeah. this is intriguing to me because the okay. the two the. They didn't do a good job of showing the interface changes. They they showed yeah. the basic interface. It kind of looks the same. There's a little um, a gear does. for settings. Rounded over the corners. Far right the menu bar. But the, the status bar at the bottom is the same with the word count and all that. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yep. Character count, whatever. <laughs> yep. No, it's yep. good. But there's a, there's a menu missing, right? Um, uh, and I was when I implemented Notepad myself uh, two or three times a couple, couple years ago, I was always kind of confused about what went into edit, what went into format, why those were two different mm -hmm. menus. Uh, format, I think, is the one that's gone now. So it's like file, edit, view. Um, control H is how you do find and replace. And yeah. it just is a historical, I don't know, whatnot for people who are interested in this kind of thing. When I went, I, What I wanted to do when I created this app was use the exact dialogues that Microsoft mm -hmm. used. They're in the system. I mean, why not use them? And yeah. way back in the day, uh, when .NET was new and C Sharp was new and Windows Forms was the thing, they came up with this interface to access that low-level type of dialog. What I can't, I can't, I've got the name of it, but uh, and there was a, a toolkit for doing it. It disappeared at some point, and hmm. you, there were unofficial ways to do it. But basically, I ended up just implementing my own interface because it's just not generally available. Mm -hmm. And it is fascinating to me that they've updated this app and they had, they changed, I shouldn't say they had to, I'm sure Microsoft can access this stuff, but they actually changed that UI mm -hmm. and they didn't do it to, there is no like new WinUI 3 UI for this. I, they created something right. unique of their own. It looks mm -hmm. modern and it's fine, but it's just fascinating to me because that was one of my stumbling blocks when I mm -hmm. did my own notepad and <laughs> That that is one of the things they changed mm -hmm. as well as uh, very is yeah. maybe not coincidental. I, I thought that was interesting. So there is there a settings page for Notepad no. like dedicated no, settings page? No, no, and that's no. why I think the format edit yeah. thing. I, I want to see how those new menus look because mm -hmm. no, there mm -hmm. is no settings. You uh, you can format things like uh, word wrap is one of them. Um, yeah. Uh, fonts obviously brings it well. Mm -hmm. No font. Bring, well, what else? What is in there? There's not too much in the way of settings. Uh, well, font no. is a setting. I guess you could say font is a setting. Yeah. Word wrap is a a format. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I don't, maybe mm -hmm. word wrap and font are in settings. I'm not really sure. Um, yeah. 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 View is like a zoom yeah. level. You know, stat whether the status bar is yeah. on or off. I don't. I'm curious how they've yeah divided things up. But yeah. 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 It's yeah. Okay. Um. Right. So I've I've had a few questions from people about <laughs> this yep. because I, I I am the unofficial or maybe the official Notepad spokesperson mm -hmm. in case anyone didn't sure. know that. Uh, the queen of um, Notepad, I think is how right. describe it. So I had I had a reader ask me, does Notepad still allow you to print with this redesign? Yes, it does. I have never printed well, from Notepad in my life. I have never printed That's from cool. Notepad before, but Oh, um, by the way, print, yes. uh, implementing print also a real major pain in the the butt. So they kept uh, it. Really? Yes, Is you it? can. Oh, wow. Oh, it's really you hard. You can 
print. And um, people are a little bit confused about which version of Notepad is this. Because remember last year they said there's going to yeah. be a store version of Notepad, right? And then you still get this Notepad that's built into Windows 11. Well, it turns out the Windows – this is my understanding based on some conversations mm -hmm. today. Window, the one that's built into Windows 11 is updated through the store, right? So okay. they did not commit to um, – bringing these new changes to the Windows 10 version of Notepad. They didn't say they will do that or won't. They didn't say yeah. anything about that, right? But this version that they updated yesterday is the one that's bundled with Windows 11 and that is updated through the store. Through that's store. what's okay. going on. Yeah. I haven't gotten the update yet. I've been looking for it. Um, yeah, yeah. And I looked in the store. I figured that's how you would get it. It is, Yeah. I don't uh, even want to look. I'm a little scared. <laughs> okay. Well, um, is it? <laughs> you have to be on the dev though, channel, right? right? Dev yeah. Channel. yeah. Right. So you want to you so want to worry about it. this for months. Yeah. That's good. That's good. I, okay. I would like it just for um, uh, just to see. Right? And I'm curious what it looks like to me is that thing I I've said before about some of the other apps in Windows 11, and whether it's true or not kind of doesn't matter. But what it looks like to me is a Win UI update to the existing app. You know, uh, that the UI, right. that you, the, the rounded Micah corner background. stuff. Yeah. 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 So, Micah backgrounds for people who care about that. Micah, you know, which is some material, building I material. Like sergeant. Uh, this is like, no, a, a different Micah, whole different fluid, Micah. What do you call Not sergeant. Uh, <laughs> Micah, like uh, Eisenglass. <laughs> it's a, yes. uh, a material, like, if you will. Yeah. The, they call it a material. Right. <laughs> so I believe this one is like the, the one that originally shipped was called acrylic. And acrylic had yeah. some translucency th to it. Uh, I think this has less translucency. I think it's kind of a almost like an opaque style uh, material. If that matters. I don't know. I don't care. But now I'm curious. I kind of want to. I'd like to do a WinUI update to my app and see if I can replicate this thing. You know. Yeah. Make it yeah. just like Microsoft's. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> then then what? <laughs> right. Well, Keep I still, the Paul I, mine, pad mine has other, mine, mine has other improvements uh, that okay. Microsoft. I, I appreciate yeah. them finally getting a dark mode. I already support that. Yeah. But not not literally dark mode. I mean, I support the ability to change the color of the text and the background. So you could have a dark mm -hmm. background with light, yeah. you know, gray text or something if you want. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm, I'd like to do official support for dark mode. I think that's cool. Hmm. So, yeah, I, I was very scared when I saw the blog post yep. pop up yesterday, but then I was read it and I was like, wait, Are you happy? it seems like, you know, what? it seems like they understand they shouldn't muck a lot with Notepad, which right. is great that they understand this. Right. And by That's the good. way, I, so I use Notepad and paint every day. And I have to say the yep. way they treated the paint refresh in Windows 11 is disgraceful. So this is a again, like a win UI front yeah. end to the existing app. It does not support dark mode, so it's like this bright beacon of white light when it opens. The keyboard shortcuts are all screwed up now because they've completely changed how the menu works. So like Alt-F doesn't open the file menu, I don't think ever, maybe sometimes, but it doesn't always work. You can't do like file save as, like I, that's something I do all the time because yeah. now there's a side menu off of save as that lets you choose different file formats. Mm -hmm. That's in the save as dialog. You don't put it in the freaking menu. Like what? <laughs> I don't, I, it's, yeah. I just, it makes me crazy. Yeah. They've, they've really ruined paint for me. Well, not ruined it. I do still use it, but they've made it harder to use. And, uh, that's yeah. tough on me. Cause I use, like I said, I use it every day. So uh -huh. I was nervous yeah. when I saw the notepad thing like Mary Jo, but I looked at what they did. I haven't seen the app yeah. itself, but it looks, yeah. it looks okay. You know, they need to understand your role here is the equivalent of mine with Notepad. You're the keeper of paint, and they need to understand <laughs> well, they, and appreciate they do understand it. it. They, they, they have treated Notepad respectfully because they respect you, and they've treated paint like a, you know, <laughs> a <dog. laughs> like a beggar on the street. Just, yeah, kick it, you know, just couldn't care less. Like, yeah, it's, we're leaving it in there. You don't like, you want dark mode? Yeah, you're not getting dark mode. Hey, at least they yeah. got away from paint 3D. That, that. You've got to look for happy little That's, happy linings. Oh, by the way, there was a horrible <laughs> moment, a little a period of six months yeah. or something. Paint 3D yeah. was going to replace paint. It was. I remember that. I don't that. know if people remember that, but the intention Thank was you. paint was going away. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that was. No, and I, I always was, was scared an that would. I was scared that was going to happen to Notepad. Like one day they'd be like, and we're yep. doing Notepad 3D and that old Notepad is just going to go away. I'm like, this it's going to be all XAML code now. Uh, <laughs> I hope, you're, hope you like to write in code. Uh, and, and, yeah. 